Now, what's the team like? Have you guys gotten over Michigan State? Yeah, it's just on to the next game. I mean, we still got everything in front of us. We just got to uh, perform every week, and uh, we know we still got all our goals that we can achieve. So Indiana's next, so that's what we're focused on. When you watch the film from Saturday, what are some things that stand out as you try to diagnose the issues with the offense right now? Yeah, it was just sloppy. I mean, we played a sloppy game. Uh, I mean, everyone can see that, and uh, we just got to focus on tweaking all the little things and uh, making sure we're ready for Indiana. Were there any specific areas for the offensive line that you think you could focus on improving? No, we just got to focus. We just got to be better. Patrick, is there, is there an added premium on this game, given, I mean, it is a loss, a loss to a rival? A road game is there yeah, an added premium? I mean, definitely. I mean, I don't like Michigan State at all. You know, we lost to them. We shouldn't have lost to them, and we did. But uh, you know, it's on to the next game, and we still got all our goals in front of us. Indiana's a team that's given you uh, problems over the years. What do you What do you think about? There's a new coaching staff there. There's a new quarterback. What do you think the challenges are of defending that kind of thing? Yeah, I mean, they run a great offense. They're a fast-paced offense. Uh, defense has always been pretty stout. They got a lot of guys returning. Uh, we got to start watching the film on them, and uh, you know we just got to take every game uh, one by one. Coach mentioned Karan Higdon having a pretty good game. He seems to be hitting the holes well. What are you seeing out of him when you watch the film? Yeah, I love the way Karan runs. I mean, he runs the ball hard. Uh, he's great in pass protection, which is huge for a running back. And uh, you know what you're going to get from him every time. So uh, yeah, love Karan in the backfield. Was there anything Michigan State did Saturday that maybe you weren't expecting? Wasn't on film? Any new blitzes? Anything? No, no. Everything we expected. Uh, we just got to play better. Do you think the weather played a factor in the game? No, nope, football's football, regardless of the weather. Patrick, what's, what's your guys' level? John, John during the post game said he took full responsibility for the three interceptions. Seemed, you know, kind of. No, it's not his fault. I mean, team game. Uh, we all got to play better. I mean, yeah, we can't have turnovers. That's on all of us, though. It's not on him. It's on us at all. What's your guys' confidence level with him? 100%. He's our quarterback. You know, got to have 100% your quarterback, and I know he's going to play better next game. Are there any adjustments you have to make when you go from a quarterback who's going to kind of roll out a little more and get out of the pocket like John? No, no. Oh, I mean, you just block to the whistle. You got to do that every week, every game, every play. So, yeah. Do the older guys have to kind of take the younger guys aside at this point and say, hey, it's one and, you know, we don't let it turn into more? You know, uh, Coach Harbaugh made a great point at the beginning of the year. Uh, once you get on the field, you're, everyone's, a, everyone's an older guy. So we kind of taken that. I mean, obviously, it's a fifth year. Try to rally the troops a little bit, but. I mean, everyone's mature now. Everyone's everyone's got to, you know, sack up and just it's it's time to go. Is it to the point? I mean, just mi lost to Michigan State aside, you guys still four and one team, still, you know, top fifteen, sixteen in, in the country right now. I think seventeen, whatever. Is that? I guess when you're explaining the message, you know, okay, the season's not over, still. Yeah, no, it's, all our goals are still in front of us. Big Ten's still in front of us. We just got to win out. That's it. Win out, and we can achieve all our goals. So you think it's just simply sloppy play? Yeah, I mean, we didn't play our best game. I mean, everyone could see that. So we play better, we can win. We're going to win games. Has that been I mean, a recurring issue this year, through the first four games before that? No, I mean, no, we just got to play better as a whole. I mean, just uh, little things. I mean, we saying that, yeah. I mean, little things we got to improve on. No turnovers. We got to eliminate turnovers. I think that's our main thing. But I mean, it's a collective effort. And as a group, we got to play better. Can you talk about rallying the troops? Like, what's the message that you think they need to hear? No, it's just it's just time to go. I mean, it's always been time to go, but you know there there can't be any more errors now. It's just we got to win out. And it's plain and simple. Patrick, you you've been around for a long time. You've seen kind of the the offensive line, you know, through different phases. How do you assess the the right side? I'm not asking you to single out anybody, but yeah. I mean, how right side of struggle? How do you assess that? You know, it's just uh, next man up. Whoever's playing there has got to got to step up and play hard. Um, it's a physical group. We're all we're a very physical group. Um, yeah, I mean it's just next guy up. You got to play your best. Is the on the field product what we see from the right side? Is that different than than what you guys see in in, in practice? I mean, yeah, you got. I mean, you'll probably you probably think it's worse than it is. It really wasn't bad. I mean, we watched film. Um, just little little errors. Most of. I mean, you never you don't like uh, schemes and stuff. I mean, they perform pretty well. How important is it for John to? Be resilient after this game. What kind of resiliency have you seen from him you know, in the yeah. last 36 hours? Yeah, I mean, he's a resilient guy. I mean, I'm, um, you know, he's in here watching the film early, you know, watching, watching what he can do better, what we can all do better. Um, and, you know, he's, just, he's focused on Indiana now, and that's what we're all focused on. And what, what, do, you need, what do you guys want to do? Not just the offensive line, but the offense as a whole needs to do to kind of help him, you know, hey, time to move forward. Yeah, I mean, obviously, we've got to block better. We've got um, we to do a lot of things better. I mean, I don't know how many times he was sacked, but we've got to protect better.
as one of the older players, is it kind of on your shoulders also to get the younger guys focused and moving forward and not sticking on that law? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think a lot of these young guys, it's their first time playing. I mean, you lose, that sucks. So, But, I mean, everyone knows it's on to the next one. Uh, you know, we're going to start focusing on Indiana starting today with work, uh, film work and all that, practice. So it's just on to the next one. Jim was, I'm sorry if you've this already. Had, uh, Jim was in here, rattled off yeah. the records against the rivals, said there's no frustration setting in. How do you avoid that? I beat them. I mean, that's all plain and simple. We got, I mean, we got Indiana next, but our big rivals next. I mean, you know, Ohio State, we got to beat them this year. We got to beat everyone this year. So, I mean, to eliminate that frustration, you got to beat them. Patrick, given given the way the defense has played this year, played played really well. Is there is there any sense from the offense, like you guys are like, okay, we're waiting to catch up to the defense's level? Is there any kind of thought like that? I mean, yeah, they're the best defense in the country. Uh, I'm a firm believer in that. We've got the best players. Um, yeah, we got to perform better. So, yeah. which coach is calling the plays on offense during the game? Uh, I have no idea. I, I run the plays. <laughs> Patrick, have you seen this video about Corn on the sideline? Has he talked about that? Was he pulled or did he slip? I have no idea. I saw the video. It was kind of funny to watch, but yeah, I honestly couldn't tell you. I saw some like Star Wars thing, but <laughs> yeah, but I have, yeah, I have no idea. Wouldn't be surprised if he was pulled or not pulled. You mentioned the urgency to seemingly have to win out at this point. Does that help kind of maybe? I wouldn't say it's urgency. It's just we got to play one game at a time. But I mean, you guys know, we all know we got to win. So I mean, if we want to achieve the goals that we've set out for, which I mean, big time championship, national championship, that should be the goal every year. And I uh, can't do that losing games. One or two more for Pat. Is this a case maybe where it's better to, to get a loss early and I mean, a loss is never good. Is it better to get out of the way a little bit earlier than than rather, you know, say like last year, Iowa or something like that? I mean, I don't think a loss is ever good. Uh, I mean, we're gonna learn from this one. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, you gotta lo you gotta uh, learn from your mistakes. A lot of people finger pointing at the offensive line. How is that too easy to do? I mean, are you guys feel like you, you are shouldering a lot of the blame oh. at this stage? I mean, yeah, we gotta play better. I mean, but I mean, it's a collective effort by the offense. I mean, we all gotta play better. But as offense, we get, as an offense line, you want that pressure on your back, and you want to be able to uh, say you either won or lost the game. So, I mean, I want to be able to say when we won, yeah, the O line played great. So, yeah. What do, what were uh, I guess the thoughts from Tim Tim Drevno, Greg Fry? I mean, have, have they talked to you know tackles, O linemen? What's the message from those yeah, guys? Yeah, we haven't uh, we haven't had meetings yet with them. I, I, I was able to talk to them a little bit yesterday. Um, it's all positive. We're going to be good. So, uh, just looking forward to Indiana. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Patrick. Thanks.